Symbolically, ceremoniously, the United Nations Stabilization Mission said farewell to Haiti. It arrived 13 years ago with a multinational force of hundreds of police and soldiers and many good intentions. The work of the UN mission was very important for Haiti, helping us to adapt to modern realities on the ground. The blue helmeted soldiers and police are heading home, the UN hoping it's done enough to stabilize Haiti. Rebuilding the police and army, pacifying lawless neighborhoods, working on election processes and human rights. But the UN is also left having to clean up a number of problems which it created, including a cholera epidemic caused by its own troops, which killed more than 9,000 Haitians. It was about time for them to go. We are better off without them and we will be fine. The UN was here for its own purposes, not to help the most vulnerable Haitians. I think things are getting worse in this country. Everything's more expensive and you cannot trust the authorities to do anything. Things are so bad, I think that only Jesus can help us. The stabilization mission will be replaced the day after its mandate ends, on October the 15th, by a new, smaller 1,300-strong UN force that will work to improve Haiti's judicial system. I'm very pessimistic for the future, especially with the current administration, which is not very interested in supporting human rights. It's going to be up to the Haitian society to stand up and ask for better. Government efforts to raise taxes for rebuilding are met with regular protests from workers who can't afford to pay more and are suspicious of politicians they see as corrupt and self-serving. Others want jobs and investment in Haiti's precarious infrastructure. So Haiti now being left largely to fend for itself, which is what many here wanted all along, seeing the UN as an invading rather than a stabilizing force. The test now whether the institutions being built up can cope with the challenges that lie ahead. Haiti is the poorest country in the region, a long-time victim of homegrown and foreign oppression, hurricanes and earthquakes. Many here feel it's time they stood proud and independently, while others are anxious about the uncertainties that the departure of the UN mission will bring. Daniel Schwan and Al Porto Prince.